Tonight with the latest in the death of a young woman at the University of Georgia's campus. Investigators with the school's police department announced they have a suspect in custody. They say 26-year-old Jose Antonio Ibarra will face a slew of charges, including malice murder and felony murder. Fox 5's Mary Smith attended a news conference following the arrest. She joins us live from the campus with the details. Mary. Investigators announced those charges against the suspect, saying they don't believe that he knew the victim in this case. He was taken into custody today as investigators say the evidence is, quote, robust. We are obtaining arrest warrants for Jose Antonio Ibera, 26 years of age. He lives here in Athens, but is not a U.S. citizen. UGA police have taken Jose Antonio Ibarra into custody in connection with the death of 22-year-old Lakin Riley. He has been charged with the following. Malice murder, felony murder, aggravated battery, aggravated assault, false imprisonment, kidnapping, hindering a 911 call, and concealing the death of another. Police say Thursday, Riley's roommate called them concerned when she didn't come home after going for a run in this area near intramural fields. Police found her unconscious and not breathing in a nearby wooded area behind Lake Herrick. Lakin attended UGA through spring of 2023, then transferred to a nursing program at Augusta University in Athens. At the press conference Friday night, police were asked her cause of death. Blunt force trauma. And what connection, if any, she had to the suspect. At this time, the, the investigation suggests that they had no relationship. Uh, he did not know her at all. Um, I think this was a crime of opportunity. Uh, where he saw an individual um, and uh, bad things happen. The evidence suggests that this was a solo act. Um, uh, we, we took three or four people in custody. However, we're only going to arrest one in this case. As of Friday night, police said investigators were still searching the suspect's apartment. At this time, the search warrant is taking place at the apartment right now as we speak. Um, that evidence is not known. I will say we didn't need the evidence inside of the apartment to convict uh, Mr. Ibarra. And Chief Clark went on to say there's no indication of a continuing threat to the community related to this case at this time. The suspect will be transported to the Athens Clark County Jail. We're live in Athens, Mary Smith, Fox 5 News. Mm, yeah, such a relief for so many people in that community. Mary, thanks.